Hey everybody, happy Sunday, June 12th. I'm Richard with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. And I got a double book opening today. Yeah, I've got my rainbow in my hair. I've got my Let's Summon Demons shirt on because, to, you know, with school being out this week, kids are going to be doing their little seances on the school grounds after school. Remember, whisper down the lane, come back after the intro. Hey everybody, it's me, Richard, back. So, yes, today I've got two books I'm gonna open, and today is the last day of Sacramento's Pride Fest. Uh, so, no, Bruce and I didn't go, but I did sport my rainbows in honor of those that did, and those that uh, marched for me to be who I am, uh, and without ridicule. And of course, Mickey, with his love is love mug. Let's get into today's opening. Uh, Zero sitting right here on the floor beside me. Zero, you wanna be in the video? You don't wanna be in the video? Nope, he doesn't wanna be in the video. But uh, hey you guys, if you haven't done so already and you love horror as much as I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. Ring the bell so you get notifications of when I post another video. Uh, speaking of another video, I'm getting ready to shoot another video right after I do this. Uh, it's going to be for book number 35 in my John Saul complete read through. So, let's get into these. Let's see what I got. This first one, I know what it is. Uh, and I actually wish now that I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah, I wish now I wouldn't have bought this. Because it's a sequel, and I didn't like the first one. Yeah, I did. I really didn't like it. Uh, yeah. So, I, I bought the used copy, and of course they didn't say it was a library copy. So it's got that dumb thing on it. But it does have a uh, dust cover, but I can take the dust cover off. So this is a sequel, like I said. It's by David L. Goldman. This is The Supernaturals 2 in the still of the night. Yeah, looks like an old movie theater is haunted. Uh, yeah, it's a sequel to... The Supernaturals, which I wasn't a fan of. I, I gave it a one star right here on my Goodreads account. But let's see what this says. Five years ago, the ghost hunting Supernaturals disbanded after being accused of faking their footage of the haunting at Summer Place. Now the eccentric but brilliant team of scientists and paranormal experts are being asked to join forces once again. This time to save the President of the United States. At least... At least I didn't get this book when you know who was president. Through strenuous investigation and mysterious messages about returning home, the team soon discovers the long lost home of the president, a small town in California called Moreno, a modern ghost town. When the supernaturals go to Moreno for answers, they find a presence. Something came to Moreno after World War II, something that's still locked in a steel vault in the basement of the town's old movie theater. 
To make matters worse, the thing in the basement is starting to pull them into its time. Halloween of 1963. Okay, that changes my outlook on this. Hopefully it's going to be better than the first one. With the body count rising, it'll be up to the supernaturals to find an explanation for what this paranormal being is and how to defeat it. Set in the world of the supernaturals, one of the Riffle books, 10 best haunted house books of all time. In the Still of the Night is the latest supernatural thriller from New York Times bestselling author David L. Goldman. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully this is going to be better than the first one. We'll see. So, uh, let's see what's in this. And I know what this one is, too. I hate it because... You know when you buy something from Amazon and then they send you an email saying, Oh, your order's on its way. Yeah, it ruins everything. This, I'm really, really, really pumped to read. I'm going to take my glasses off because I look like an old man. Yes, I am 61 years old, but I don't feel like I'm old. Oh my God, yeah. So, you guys can remember when I did the review on this book and its sequel this is fear zone one and the author also wrote fear zone two it is hotter than hell here again it's miserable this is escape by kr alexander i love this author i don't care if it's a ya book i don't care if people say oh richard that's a kid's book the Fear Zone scared me more than it did in Pennywise. Yeah, in, er, scared me more than it did with, with Pennywise. Yeah. Fear Zone was great. I loved it. I don't care. So, this is K.R. Alexander's Escape. Play to win, play to live. Yeah, so let's see what this says. This one's a little bit uh, bigger. Not really. 234 pages. So it says in the back, I didn't know this. Uh, K.R. Alexal Alexander is the pseudonym for author Alex A. Collar. Hmm, I didn't know that. Alex R. No. <laughs> Alex R. Collar. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> yeah, so this one says, Welcome to Escape. Step inside if you dare. It's the biggest adventure park in the world, but it's more than just rides and roller coasters. At Escape, you can do anything you want and be anyone you want, with no adults around to tell you no. Cody dreams of... Can you guys hear that? <laughs> I know I'm not crazy. Can you guys hear that? Hmm. Cody dreams of going to escape, but the only people who get in there are rich or cool, and Cody's nobody. He's shocked when he receives an invitation to walk inside Escape's gates, and even more shocked by what he finds inside. At first, it's a lot of fun, but soon, Cody's dream place starts to morph into a complex, complete nightmare. Rides turn deadly, kids disappear, and what started out as an adventure turns into a fight for survival. Can escape be escaped? You guys, I love this author. Uh, K.R. Alexander. Um, well, you guys can check out my reviews of... Uh, I'm just getting something off of here. You guys can check out my reviews of Fear Zone and Fear Zone 2 on my Goodreads channel. But that's uh, another book I need to add to these and delve into. So you guys, once again, happy Pride Month to all of you that celebrate it. Uh, and some people, uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, um, I wanted to say hi to Ronnie, Alex, speaking of Alex, K.R. Alexander, but this Alex is a girl. Um, I wanted to say hi to Cheryl, uh, Cheryl uh, Thomason, and Andy Sanders. Uh, Andy is also a girl. Um, I told them I would uh, 
throw them a, you know, hey, how are you guys doing this weekend? Two of you are sick. Get better. Hopefully uh, you get rid of that. Oh, yeah, that yucky junk. Take care, you guys. Have a good weekend. Zero's here snoring on the ground. You guys take care of yourselves. Be kind. Live your life like a good scary book. Just don't flip that last page because once you do, it's over, you guys. And I really feel that way. It's not just something I say at the end of my videos. Life is too short. And uh, hey, take care, you guys. I'll see you in the next scary one. Hi, Kelly Cyberling. That scary voice is for you. <laughs> take care, you guys. Bye.